Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to try to do the whole album, but I reckon that whole album's going to be in one song. So it's going to be like a... <laughs> we have time. Unless you guys want to camp out for the next three days and then we'll finish the album. So there you go. So we'll do how, a little how can people get the album, Cal? How can... <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Talk to our merch desk over here. Oh, yeah. You might have to excuse the lack of attendance, <laughs> but um, <laughs> we'll hang around there afterwards. Yeah, we'll, we'll And what have we got? Let's some downloads... Some albums. Yeah, Corey will sign anything actually. So uh, you know, bodily parts, anything like that. So yeah, we're, we're not proud. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Babies. Yep. Babies. Yeah. Anything. We're gonna do a uh, little song. This is on the album as well. This song called uh, the album that Corey's been talking about. Uh, this is a song called Joliet Bound. And uh, so we've actually got two albums. There's actually one album um, next year we're gonna launch is called Susquehanna. Which has got Corey and uh, uh, Emma Luca on violin and we've got mandolin player as well. So this is kind of um, this is album number one. And then my merching merch desk for album number two will be amazing. It'll be like lights and like fireworks and it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. We it won't be me just saying, oh, there, by the way, there's an album. <laughs> Maybe we could get a vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Get a vending machine. Ah, yeah. People just. Put the money in. Oh, yeah, I love it. Nice. So this is old um, Bessie Smith tune. A uh, song called Juliet Bound.
Thank you. All right. Okay, so next song we'll do is a uh, little song called Whiskey Headed Woman. So, um, so we did a gig um, last year. One of the uh, songs from the albums, actually, we did a gig at the Her Majesty's Theatre, and it was actually um, in the lockdown time. We did two gigs, actually. One was like back uh, stage sessions, which is in the Festival Theatre. Um, with no one there, it was like kind of a, it's really kind of creepy. It was on a, a theatre stage and uh, there was actually no one in the audience at all. It was, it was a bit freaky. Um, and then uh, we did a live sh uh, concert at the um, Her Majesty's Theatre. And, uh, but we couldn't actually hang out with each other because we had like COVID bubbles. And so we actually basically had to have a room to yourself. So me and Corey had a room and we were playing with Chris Finnan as well and uh, he had a room to himself. But So we basically had to just get really drunk on opposite sides of the, of the corridor basically. And, uh, and then we were actually drinking so much wine, and then we like got some, we got some sushi, didn't we? So we had heaps of time. So we actually closed the show, and and, uh, and that was always a bad, uh, a bad sort of uh, idea to actually have a blues band closing the show because because uh, that that wine rider goes uh, quite fast. And uh, so I actually don't remember the show at all. Actually, I think uh, I'm not sure if it was nerves or lots and lots of wine, but I think maybe a combination of both. One, one thing I never told you about that show oh is yeah. the MC. Uh, he was sitting on a, a nice plaid kind of couch on the stage, and he announced the show in, in all the different acts in a very relaxed way. But he's actually a clown doctor at the uh. hospital. Um, yeah, so I see him every week, and uh, he helps distract kids. <laughs> while we pull wires out of their arms. But anyway, um, he does a great job. He's such a, it's just Adelaide for you, isn't it? Like there's so many different roles we've all got <laughs> yeah. and they interlink <laughs> in different ways. But yeah, God bless his soul. There's also a clown theme to this whole gig as well, which is kind of interesting. So. <laughs> sure, well, my clown shoes. Yeah. But I remember doing a gig the next day. We did a, I did a thing for Adelaide Council where they do these uh, gigs out outside in the... <laughs> In the cold, well, you basically got like a brazier, and the brazier is about the side, about the where the wall is away from me, and so you're like, we're freezing in this tent, and then everyone else is warming themselves by the fire. But um, but there was the only gig in town because it was like, kind of outside, and uh, I remember playing the uh, the next night. I played outside Her Majesty's Theatre, and I was telling people, oh yeah, last night I played in there. I think, like, yeah, sure you were, mate. Yeah, but, uh, no, it's true. But, uh, <laughs> so um, this is a, a little song called Whiskey Headed.
me how to walk her. Stays drunk all the time. Whiskey had a woman, stays drunk all the time. Don't stop drinking, mom, leave your girl with your mind. I see you, baby, some whiskey joint. Hang around, Mr. Crowley, back to one by the fire. She's a whiskey and a woman, stays drunk all the time. Thank you, thank you.
to do a little instrumental tune that's on the album as well. I can't just stop talking about that album. <laughs> I know, you really should get one now. <laughs> How much are they? Oh, yeah. Fun, funny you asked that, actually. Well, they're 10 bucks, actually, which is really cheap. Um, mainly because we actually are a download. Um, but you get, we get a physical CD as well, so if you haven't got Luma or Chickasaw. Luma is me and uh, Corey. And we have a harmonica as well, and uh, Billy the Tree as well, and uh, and then Chickasaw is the, an album as well. So um, we did actually the album before we did those ones. Actually, we did um, an album called uh, what was it called? Something uh, Winter Dove. That's right. Yeah, there's so many albums, and um, and so we had this idea where we, we thought, okay, because uh, Corey's in-laws are really rich, and so um, it's kind of you know why he kind of married into money. That was actually. Yeah. His wife's awful, actually. Yeah, yeah no, kidding. She's lovely. But like, um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, they're rich. And so they got a house in Oldinga, uh, which is this beautiful, they call it a beach shack. But I mean, like, it's for poor people, uh, it's a beach shack. For rich people, it's a mansion. So it's, um, it's a beach mansion. And uh, so we had this idea of, like, let's record an album in there because it had this beautiful, like, seafront, you know, as you do, like all houses do, the seafront view with uh, glass windows and stuff like that. And uh, we thought, what a beautiful, inspirational place to record an album. But three days before, uh, Corey broke the air conditioning. And, um, and so we actually recorded in there, and it was actually like a, basically like being in a terrarium. And like those beautiful glass windows became like hellish. And uh, the temperature was about, I don't know, 70 million degrees or something. And uh, it was frightening. It was probably the hottest I've ever been uh, in my whole life. And uh, so we had this whole album. We suffered for our art, th that one actually. And, uh, and uh, then we had Chris Finnan came in uh, the next day and actually dressed in a full suit, uh, which we couldn't understand because uh, it, uh, it was absolutely mentally hot. Um, so yeah, that was Winter Dove. And so, um, so yes, that, um, so we'll never do that ever again. So. This is a little song called Angie. This is a, a song by uh, a guy called Davy Graham, who was um, very influential in, in British folk guitar. And, uh, and oddly enough, he actually used to do uh, guitar lessons um, back in the day. Uh, he's not around anymore, but basically in London, he would do these guitar lessons. And, uh, but it basically it consisted of him turning on a record player saying, listen to this. And he would jump out the window, of the bath his own bathroom window, go to the pub, have a few pints, and then by the time the, uh, the album finished, he'd come back and uh, collect the money. So I thought, yeah, I thought that's a nice template for my guitar teaching, I think. So I might, I might look into that. So there's a uh, little song called Angie. This will feature um, Corey on double bass as well and a little feature in the middle. So.
Thank you, thank you. Let's go play a little thing called uh, Kimby. We're going to do a break in this set, are we? Are we, are we just going to keep playing through? We'll have a little short five minute break. Yeah, so you can go get a drink. Yeah. And line up for the album as well, actually. Um, speaking of which, <laughs> I'm getting better at it yeah. as we go along. Yeah, the lights are green. That means buy albums. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's good. Flimsy, but it's good. We're gonna do a little, uh, little folk tune, little song called uh, Kimbi. This is an old American um, traditional tune. It's also called um, Mole in the Ground as well. We'll have a short break, and then you can grab a beer, and then we'll be back with. The, um, the Flew Euro Folk Festival, as I mentioned before, and, uh, and I, um, we had a gig on the Saturday, and they said, oh, do you want to play next tomorrow morning? I said, yeah, yeah cool. So I thought, I'll be all right. I'll, I'll just sleep in my Beetle, uh, thinking you can sleep in a Beetle. And uh, actually, uh, the physical uh, restraints of that actual idea were actually uh, present to me about three in the morning when I actually realized that a six-foot person can't actually sleep in a Beetle. Um, it's a nice little dome, though. It's, it's very comforting, but it's uh, just not... So I actually crawled out... Um, you know, and uh, slept in a tent uh, in the acoustic stage. Uh, and I was thinking I was going to wake up the next morning with, uh, with you know, 50 folkies around me, uh, strumming uh, close harmony singing. And, uh, this is a little song called Kimby. Thank you. 
If I was a mole in the crown, I would tear this mountain down. Wish I was a mole in the ground. Wish I was a mole in the ground. Wish I was a mole. a mole in the ground I would tear this mountain down Wish I was a mole in the ground Thank you very much. Should we keep going or should we break? What do you reckon? What do you guys want? You want to go for a quick prayer? Yeah, quick beer, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Let's do a five minute break and then we'll get a beer and then we'll be back for the last finale. Um, so, in the meantime, though, you can buy heaps of albums. So, let's go. Thank you very much.